Good day, viewers. My blog today pertains to a recent burglary at the gas station down the street from me. We're headed straight towards the place where the story takes place. On the left here, we're about to pass Mangum Road, approaching the local Chevron gas station. Today's story pertains to that station. Today, my friends, I'm going to tell you a story of a recent incident here in our neighborhood down here at the gas station on the corner. You, so that's my vlog today. I'm going to share you a little news story of a recent burglary down here at the gas station. But I thought I'd talk for just a little bit, do a little short vlog. Yesterday in my vlog, I was talking about it down at the gas station on the corner where I buy my lottery tickets. And I want to relay a little story to you that happened down there recently. And you might have, some of you may have seen it on the local news in Atlanta because uh, channel, there's a mailman, Channel 2, Channel 5. Some of them came along down this way and reported it. Anyway, last week I went down there to buy my lottery tickets. And the window was busted out of the store. Had a big piece of plywood bolted over the hole where they had broke out the whole window. And uh, they broke in the store and stole stuff and burglarized the place. It's the place is closed at night. Well, it, it's been, that's happened before a couple times down there. You know, out in the country like this, I guess they figure a good place to rob. Look at that, that guy didn't even slow down with the mailman pulling out. Our mailman's gonna get zapped one of these days. Anyway, I was talking about them robbing the gas station down there. And they caught him. Now the way they caught him was, you won't believe this story. Uh, These two idiots out of Macon, Georgia down there was up here traveling around where it's not supposed to be to start with, had decided they were gonna rob that place. So they parked over Mangum Road, which is a road about a half a block from before you get to the, to the gas station itself, and walked over there to the gas station. Well, while they left their car with the flashers on and the radio playing, while they went over there to rob the gas station. To, well, I call it robbery, it's really a burglary. Well, they took a big rock or brick or something and smashed out the window. Went in there, I don't know what all they stole, cigarettes or whatever goodies they could find in there. They tried to steal the cash register and they got them on video dropping the cash register. And I'm sure they got their fingerprints off of it and everything else. Well, <laughs> they uh, finished their burglary, went back to their car. Well, these are idiots. Remember they left the radio playing and the lights flashing? Well, their battery died. They couldn't start the damn car. So they're down there at three o'clock in the morning trying to figure out how to get their car started to make their getaway. So they're walking up and down Mangum Road, which is just a little country road over there. There's a lot of residents live on that road. Uh, it's called Mangum Road because that's where Mr. Mangum used to live, the first house there on the left. The old boy passed away recently. Um, but anyway, at 3 o'clock in the morning, these two idiots is walking down the road trying to flag down cars waving their arms, stop and help us, we're broke down, stop and help us. Which just so happened the first one that come by 
was an off-duty policeman. Out of, I guess it was Spalding County Police, Griffin Police, and I'm not sure what department he was with. But he went on over, to, he passed him up and went on over to the gas station and looked and saw it had been burglarized. He put two and two together and called a 911 and told them to get on out here. But they got out here in time to catch them idiots trying to get somebody to flag somebody down. Hauled them in. And uh, they had to connect them to the robbery in some way or another. And that's not including, I'm sure they probably got fingerprints. But when they took off their shoes, you know, when you get arrested, they make you change your clothes. When they took off your shoes, this guy, glass fell out of this guy's shoe where he had thrown the cash register or the bricks or whatever through the window. But glass from the robbery fell out of his shoe when he dropped the cash register or something. And uh, they actually got him on video in the store trying to drag that cash register out. Maybe it was the ATM machine, I don't know. But I think that's, that's hilarious that that's how you get yourself caught. But the battery was on, uh, radio was on and the lights were on and the motor wasn't running. That'll kill your battery pretty darn quick unless you got a good battery. So crime does not pay <laughs> when they catch you. We'll see them old boys out here walking up and down the road picking up trash one of these days. They don't treat criminals the way they should. Back in the old days, they put bars and chains on you, made you scared to death go to jail. They put you on a chain gang and point guns at your ass and march you down the road and make you cut bushes and dig ditches and, well, that was pure slave labor. You can bet it was. But they just, they got what they deserved. Nowadays, these criminals get televisions to watch. They don't have to work on the word road crews if they don't want to. And the ones that do work on the road crews actually get paid for it. I don't know. Maybe it's me, but... <laughs> the way this country is run in some fashions just don't make no sense to me. Make the punishment fit the crime. That's my idea. Be a whole lot less murders and killings if they had brought the death penalty back. They'd think an awful long time. Nowadays, these kids are driving around shooting up neighborhoods and robbing and stealing. Anyway, that's my little short rant for today. Mockingbird is getting him a bath in the bird bed. Thanks for listening. This is P. Walpar signing off.